Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, my name's Jess. So of course, you know by now, by the title, we are doing a five hour reading sprint today. Now I will say this was completely random. I have been reading none other than The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I'm a little over halfway, you guys, and I plan to finish this today and I'm kind of worried that I'm not. It's over, what time is it? It is, it's 3.50 p.m. in the afternoon and I don't know, I just feel like I'm not gonna finish it because I keep going on social media. And so I decided why not get rid of social media, film a reading sprint for you guys and just see where this takes me. I'm kind of like nervous just because it's like I finish a chapter then I reward myself with social media and I don't know like what I'm thinking of getting out of that but I kind of want to just do this and see how far I can get with the book. Hopefully I finish it. So this is kind of a challenge for myself but feel free to make this a challenge for you guys like if y'all have a book and social media or some other life obstacles are just being thrown at you maybe take the time. Maybe in this video you can kind of I don't know be like me and maybe finish a book hopefully this lighting is not doing me justice and my hair is a little wild because I curled it yesterday and this is kind of just like the aftermath I haven't really done anything except for cook and clean and read so I really haven't done anything to my hair so please just bear with me while I look a hot mess now before we hop into any reading I did want to kind of give you some of my thoughts about where I am currently in my book so I'm sure a lot of you have already read the song of Achilles if you haven't if if you're like myself who was very intimidated or are very intimidated and in going into this book all I just want to say is please just open it please just start it if you're nervous that because you don't know a lot about Greek mythology like that was my case you don't need to know anything about Greek mythology because Madeline Miller first of all all of the details that she gives around the characters and the story and events of what are happening are so detailed and descriptive that you will understand the story and like you won't feel like like you have to know a whole bunch of Greek mythology to continue reading this to make it an easier book. It's actually really written very well so that you don't have to kind of guess and be like, huh, like what's happening and like scratching your head and like you don't understand what's happening you don't remember the characters which by the way she even has like a character glossary in the back of this book and i have looked at that from time and time again just to make sure okay like who is this person why are they important again and just to kind of get like their a little bit of background information because some of her characters in the glossary have a little bit of background info on them which is great now i like i said i'm more than halfway through with this book my plan is to finish it today and like a part of me doesn't want to i think that's why i'm stalling and like going on on social media because I know how this ends. I know that it's a tragedy and I'm just not looking forward to it. Just like the Titanic, just like Romeo and Juliet, you know, we know what happens at the end and we're just basically going through highs and lows. And this book, oh my gosh, I know I'm going to probably cry at the end. I did tear up a little bit when we found out about the war, obviously, that it was going to start. And I'm currently at the part where they just landed at Troy and it's about to go down, basically. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I don't want anything to happen to Achilles. I don't want anything to happen to Patroclus because I've already, I don't know, I just feel so many things for them, you guys, especially Patroclus because, you know, it's his POV. We've seen him from childhood till now. He's only 16, which I can't even wrap my head around the fact that him and Achilles are 16 year old. Like imagine yourself that age conquering Troy, like, and being famous. And I don't know, like, I don't know. I just can't even wrap my head around that. And I can't even imagine how Achilles and Patroclus both feel. I mean, we know a little bit of how they feel, but like overall, like just day by day, minute by minute, hour by hour, like in their headspace, probably freaking out. I mean, I know I would. Achilles is, oh my gosh, like his character, he already understands what his fate is. And he's just going so headstrong. And he is just doing a lot to make the people around him him feel welcomed and feel like they are going to win this battle. And that's just a lot coming from a 16 year old. And Patroclus, I love his character because he obviously adores and loves Achilles. And for the most part, like he's really uplifting and positive, especially when it comes to Achilles and making sure that Achilles is fine and okay. And I just love that about Patroclus. The fact that he, you know, you know, one, we obviously can tell he's willing to put his life in front of Achilles. Like, 
automatically. I mean, that's just based in the romance in and of itself. But we also see him in several moments because there are some really effed up things that have already happened in this book with Achilles that I literally had to like reread because I was just so like wowed. And Patroclus handled that or those pieces of drama so well, like so much better than I think an average person would. I mean, he really loves and cares for Achilles to the point where, you know, he can put his jealousy aside, he can put his anger aside, his sadness aside, and, you know, give himself to Achilles. And Achilles does the same thing. You know, I'm not saying that Achilles is like a bad person. He's not. He literally does the same thing. Like, he reciprocates the same amount of energy, the same amount of love towards Patroclus. And the thing that I love about it is that Achilles is not afraid to put their relationship out there. And there was like one i don't remember the quote off the top of my head i'm not actually not annotating this i've never actually annotated which i should probably start doing but there was one point when he had decided that he was going to fight the war and patroclus was like i don't want to tarnish or tarnish your your likeness with everyone by being in this relationship you know i'm willing to kind of step out of my boundaries even though I, it's like really hard for me to do to make sure that like no one thinks any less of you because of me and achilles was just like no that's not gonna happen like the king and all of them basically have just taken so much away from me already they're not going to take you away from me and that got to me you guys because that i like shed a little tear because it's just so loving it's just so affectionate and i didn't think i was going to get that from these characters i don't know why like literally i don't know why i came into this thinking otherwise but okay that's a lot of rambling because we do need to start the five hour sprint so like I said, I'm over halfway. My goal is that at the end of this sprint, I can finish this book. We'll see how it goes. I am cooking dinner. So <laughs> once it's done, I am gonna eat, but I'm not gonna count that against my time just because, I mean, it's something that I have to do. I am human. And then we'll just continue back off with the timer and then we'll see where we are. So let's get into it. Get you some tea, get you some coffee. I did have some tea with me. I have some water behind me. Yeah, let's just get comfortable get your blanket out you guys because we are in this for five hours and yeah just be ready locations i am officially in my upstairs bedroom one of my upstairs bedrooms it's currently being worked on i have some laundry that needs to be back on the bed but for now i just have the comforter i'm gonna be on top of it with my pillow and my book i'm gonna finish reading in here for this vlog just because alex and our friend they're watching tv it's very loud and y'all could basically hear it from downstairs so this is going to be our new domain all right before we continue this reading sprint, I just want to kind of give you my thoughts on how it is without technology and kind of where my head is at with this book. So first thing, technology, I'm not really like seeing myself gravitate towards my phone or the computer or TV or just basically any kind of technology because I'm so engrossed in the book, which I absolutely am adoring this book. It's still giving me everything that I could possibly want, things that I didn't know I needed, which I mean has romance it has grief it has sadness it has happiness i mean it literally has everything like every chapter you, it just takes you through all of the emotions all at once like every single chapter i'm really loving that aspect i haven't yet made it to a part where my heart is kind of torn and that i'm feeling a lot of grief and sadness for the main characters that hasn't happened but i can tell that something dark is brewing because the last couple of chapters that i read since the last time i spoke to you haven't really been anything of of note basically like worthy like they're just kind of meandering about like you know the war has technically already begun Achilles yes he's fighting but they're only fighting like the farmers basically people outside of the city walls like people who make the food and who do the dyes and who sew basically think of them as 
the lifeline to the city. So these are the people who are like hard working laborers for the city. And we're basically at this point just seeing a lot of bloodshed happening in that part of Troy and nothing's really happened. You know, Achilles is like doing his thing. Patroclus isn't really involved in the war. Yes, he's a soldier and there have been times where he has been on the battlefield, but nothing crazy has been happening, which I'm thankful for. But like I said, like you could just feel that something really, really bad is about to occur. And at this point, it was just the farm raid, but now they're planning and prepping on actually like taking over the actual city walls. And so I feel like I'm really gonna come to heads with some terrible things and yeah, just not so great things happening to our main characters. So that's exciting to look forward to, but yeah, that's where I am in this book. I only have just a few pages left. Actually, some of these are technically like, you know, the character glossary and stuff like that. So I'm not too far. I think I have just a little bit over 100 pages, which I think we could easily do and wrap that up in this reading sprint, which that makes me really happy because this was definitely a weekend goal of mine to do. So yeah, I'm gonna just stop here. I'm gonna stop rambling so that we can all continue reading and see how far the next hour takes us. five-hour reading sprint. I am so sorry, you guys, that I did not update you a few hours ago, but all I can just say, I finished The Song of Achilles, and I am just feeling some type of way because of the book with how the ending was written. I mean, it was just so tragic, but so beautiful all at the same time. And honestly, one, I'm so glad that I finished this book, so I did finish my goal or complete my goal of reading this during the weekend. And secondly, I am so, I don't even know how to put this in words, but I am just so happy that everyone was right about this book. Everyone told me that this was five out of five stars, that this was a brilliant masterpiece. And I could not agree more. I mean, this is a phenomenal piece of work. And oh my God, like my heart is just still like, kind of like beating out of its little place just because of how the ending was. I mean, First of all, Patroclus, he is absolutely the most loving and affectionate and caring and unselfish person that I have ever, well, known. I mean, he's not real, but like in the fiction world, like I haven't really met another person like him in another book and that was such a breath of fresh air the only thing i will say is like achilles like you can kind of tell like towards the end that things like his fame just started getting to him and it really bothered me at some points because i was like this is not the achilles that we have known and like grew to love throughout the entire book it all seemed rather quickly where like he went from being this most selfless again righteous you know like he i mean he loved his fame and stuff like that even before but like he just was one person and then now he became someone new like even patroclus like couldn't even recognize him at point and you know i'm i'm not even going to lie like i wasn't upset at the way patroclus handled the ending like he did like at first i was you know kind of like upset with him which is so weird because like you know that what he's going to do basically just like fulfills the prophecy of Achilles but like the way he does it the reason why he does it I mean it just makes so much sense and especially you know as Achilles's lover I would expect nothing less of him and this is like really sad but like one of the most satisfying things that 
I really enjoyed about Achilles towards the end is that he kind of snapped back to his prior self when, you know, there's just a bunch of grieving going on. And I will admit, the ending had me kind of on the edge of my seat because of what was going on with Patroclus in the last couple of chapters. And honestly, like, I had no idea how that ending was going to go. Like, I, I really thought that it was going to be more tragic than what it turned out being but i'm so happy like so satisfied with the ending i think the last paragraph was just utterly beautiful which i'm not gonna say it here because i feel like that's like a huge spoiler in and of itself and i don't want to ruin it for you but it was so beautiful and man this is i think going to be one of those books that i'm going to kind of have in my mind like in the back of my mind for the rest of my life like it's just one of those books that just has a place in the back of my mind that will always forever be there it will always come up throughout the year of life I feel like there was just a lot of life happening or like things that can kind of be similar to like what people face in the world I'm not talking about like wars and stuff but like grief and love and loss and hatred and like I feel like this book just had a very wide well first of all a wide array of emotions but they were painted in a way that you could just really relate with these people and kind of how their actions were made because of like what was going on and I know this isn't like making a lot of sense and I'm probably just like rambling but yeah this is definitely going to be a book that I will always think about and it's going to be a book that when there are some pathways that I have to take in my own life that you know cause me to hesitate like this is definitely gonna be one of those books that I'm gonna like think about and be like okay like what would Patroclus or Achilles do basically because that's kind of how like Patroclus ended up being for me and Achilles too to some extent but mostly Patroclus like what would he do in, in any given situation I mean he was the best main character best pov that i have read in a long time like sometimes he frustrated me towards the end but for the most part he was very agreeable and he made so much sense with the way he thought about things and his actions towards achilles and towards other people like hands down so yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do now <laughs> now that i read a the song of Achilles, I feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulders because, you know, this was my most intimidating read. And now that I finished it, like, I feel so much lighter. And like, in all the best senses, okay? So like, not to say that it was a bad book, like it's not, like like I said, this is like a five out of five book. Like, I highly recommend that anyone from, you know, whether like Greek mythology is your genre or maybe it's not your favorite genre, uh, genre just like mine, just still pick it up because there's just a lot of life lessons that you can learn from it and it's very easy Easy to pick up and just read and it's very quick paced I think throughout there are some parts that are kind of slow but for the most part it very quick paced and this just the relationship that's built between Achilles and Patroclus is just absolutely phenomenal I don't know what I'm gonna do now so the reading sprint is up and it is kind of getting late but I'm not tired enough I do have to do some like last minute house chores before I go to sleep so that I can start afresh tomorrow which is Monday and yeah I guess I can pick my next book but I just <sighs> Man, The Song of Achilles is just like, it's one of those books where it puts you in such an emotional situation that like you really just can't even wrap your head around even starting something new because there's so many questions, there's so many afterthoughts. Like I'm already just thinking like trying to think back on the book and the decisions that were made and like the emotions that were felt between characters and like why characters did what they did at certain times. It's definitely going to be really hard. <laughs> I think now to pick another book especially if it's not as like I don't know I mean all the books that I picked are obviously because I really really want to read them but like the next read I, I fear that it's not going to be as impactful or just like top tier as what I just read and I'm kind of nervous about that so I don't know if I'm going to pick a book today or maybe I could just do some light reading like I don't know something I don't know I don't really have like light reads I mean I do have like some scary I think short stories from HP Lovecraft that I don't know that just does not really sound up to I don't know doesn't really float my boat now that I think about it uh I don't know I'm gonna look at my library my bookshelf basically and see what I have going on I don't even know what type of genre I want to look at right now and I'm so sorry guys with my hair I I honestly should have like straightened it and did something else to it but this is just gonna have to be I know wasn't the best for this video and I know the lighting kind of sucks right now but it's like it's nighttime you guys so 
yeah, I am going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that this was kind of like a short reading sprint, but then again, it was only for five hours and it was just one book. And yeah, it was my most intimidating read. So I'm super happy that I accomplished it and that it did live up to my expectations. And it was just a great book. I highly, highly, highly recommend. If anything, if you did not like listen to anything else that I said just you know what just just get the book and yeah I don't know it was just such a such a great read so yeah I'm gonna end it off here I hope you have or have had a wonderful weekend when this drops out Monday would have already passed and it will be Tuesday so happy Tuesday when you are watching this I guess um I hope that you're reading an awesome book maybe if you're reading the song of Achilles leave me a comment about how the book is making you feel personally I would be interested and yeah kind of intrigued to see like what y'all guys think about the book thus far but don't like leave too many spoilers in case you know people are here for the first time i hope you are having a awesome day wherever you are i hope your head is in a fantastic book and i will see you in the next video bye guys